Blessed is our God, always now and forever, in the ages of ages. Thank you. 
pleasing to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That his mercies may be lavished upon us. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And he will accept our act of healing as incense before him. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. For all who stand in need of his help, let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, Thank you. 
Praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise Him, all you His peoples. The Holy Spirit is light and life, and the living know where it from. Spirit of wisdom, Spirit of understanding, good of right noetic ruling, purging offenses, God and Oh. Uh -huh. 
Lord, pure and undefiled, existing before all eternity, invisible, incomprehensible, unsearching, unchanging, surpassed by none, not to be calculated, long suffering, the only immortal one. You abide in the unapproachable light. You created heaven, earth, and all the creatures that inhabit them, supplying all their needs even before they ask. To you we pray, to you we entreat, loving Master, the Father of our Lord and God Jesus Christ, and the Savior, who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven to be incarnate of the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, the glorious Theophilus. At first you taught us the words, but then showed us by deeds, when enduring the saving passion, you gave to us your humble, sinful, and unworthy servants an example of how to offer our prayers for the bending of our heads and knees, for our transgressions, and for the failings of the people. All merciful and loving Lord, hear us whenever we call upon you, but especially on this day of Pentecost, on which, after our Lord Jesus Christ had ascended into the heavens to be seated at your right hand, God and Father, he sent the Holy Spirit on his holy disciples and apostles as he came to rest upon each of them, and all were filled with the, his overflowing grace. They spoke in strange tongues of your mighty works to prophesy. As we now pray to you, hear us, and be mindful that we are lowly and deserving of judgment. Recall our souls from the bondage of sin, your own compassion interceding for us. Accept us as we kneel before you, crying the familiar, I have sinned. We have been dependent on you from our mother's womb. You are our God. But because our days have been vainly squandered, we are stripped of your help without any defense. Even so, encouraged by your mercy, we cry, remember not our sins committed in youth and ignorance, and purge our secret thoughts. Do not spurn us in old age when our strength fails us. Do not forsake us before we are returned to the earth. Make us worthy to, re to return to you and treat us with your favor and grace. Measure out your mercies against our transgressions. Contrast the depths of your pity to the multitude of our offenses. From your holy dwelling place, look down upon the people here present in an expectation of your rich mercy. Visit us in your goodness. Free us from the oppression of the evil and make our lives secure within your holy and sacred love. Entrust your people to a faithful guardian angel. Gather us all into your kingdom. Grant forgiveness to those who hope in you. Remit them and us our sins. Cleanse us through the work of the Holy Spirit and put an end to the wiles of the enemy. Blessed are you, Master, Almighty Lord, for, for you light the day with the light of the sun and brighten the night with the rays of fire. You enabled us to pass the span of the day and so come to the beginnings of the night. Hear our prayer and that of all your people, and forgive us our deliberate and unwitting sins. Receive our evening petitions, and send upon your inheritance the abundance of your mercy and compassion. Encompass us with your holy angels. Arm us with the weapons of your righteousness. Fortify us within your truth. Make your strength our garrison. Spare us all adverse circumstances and all assaults of the adversary. Finally, God, save to us this evening in the impending night, perfect, holy, peaceful, sinless, free of disturbing visions in all the, the, the days of our lives, through the prayers of the Holy Theophilus and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, raise us up, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Again, we pray for our brother and the priest, our 
reverends, deacons, and monastics, and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, that thou thoughtest of ever virgin 
bear with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves to one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. By the favor and grace of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy good and life, and spirit now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. All together. O oh Lord, keep us this evening without sin. Bless the name of the Lord, God of our fathers, and praise and glorify your name in the ages. Amen. O oh Lord, let your mercy be upon us, for we have set our hope in you. Bless the name of the Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, and grant me understanding of your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, who enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy is forever. Do not despise the works of your hands. Do you as do grace, do you as do song, do you as do glory. O Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, the ages of ages. Again and again, on bended knees, let us pray to the Lord. The never failing spring bursting with life and light, creative power, co eternal with the Father, you fulfill the surpassing, the plan for the salvation of humankind, shattering the unbreakable bonds of death and the bolts of Hades, and trampling the throngs of evil spirits. You presented yourself as a blameless victim for us, offering your pure body chaste and untouched by sin and sacrifice, and by that terrible and indescribable oblation granted us an everlasting life. You descended into Hades and broke down its gates. And so journeying among those below, you showed them the way of ascent. As for the prince of evil, that dragon of the deep, you stared him in an inspired Lord, binding him in circles of darkness, and your infinite power held him fast in the netherworld, and in the eternal fire and the outer darkness. The glorious wisdom of the Father, you are the great help of those in peril, giving light to those in darkness and the shadow of death. Lord of everlasting glory, beloved Son of the Most High, eternal, eternal light. Son of righteousness, hear our supplications and give rest to the souls of your servants, our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters, and other kin by blood, and of all the household of the faith who have since fallen asleep and whose remember memorial we keep. For in you is the strength of all those, and in your hand you hold the far reaches of the earth. Almighty Master, God of our fathers, and merciful Lord of the living and the dead, creator of all mortal nature, compose and again dissolve. Of life and of death, of earthly existence and of the departure hence, you measure out the years for the living. It's at times of death, bringing down to Hades and raising up, feathering weakness and liberating in power. You provide aptly for the present and fitly dispose of what is to come, restoring those who are wounded by the sting of death with the hope of the resurrection. Master, Lord of all, our God and Redeemer, the hope of all at the ends of the earth and far away upon the sea, on this ladder, great and saving day of Pentecost, you disclose to us the mystery of your holy, consubstantial, co-eternal, and life-giving trinity, indivisible yet distinct, and in the descent and presence of your holy and life-creating spirit, poured out its grace upon your holy apostles in the form of fiery tongues, making them proclaimers and confessors of our holy faith, of the true knowledge of God. On this universal and salutary feast, deigning to accept our petitions for those imprisoned in Hades, thus giving us great hope and relief to the departed from their grievous distress and their comfort. Hear us, humble and pitiable, as we pray to you, and give rest to the souls of your servants who have departed this life in the place of life, in a place of renewed life, in a joyous place, a shun alike by pain, sorrow, and suffering, and place their spirits for the righteous well, counting them worthy of peace and repose, for the dead do not praise you, Lord, nor do those in Hades dare to offer you glory. But it is we, the living, who bless and entreat you, and offer appreciatory prayers and sacrifices for their souls. O oh God, the great and eternal, holy and loving, having deemed us worthy to stand in this hour in the presence of your unapproachable glory, we sing praise of your wondrous acts. Be gracious to what your unworthy servants and grant us grace to offer to you in contrition of heart the Christ's holy doxology and thanksgiving for the great gifts for you, which you have bestowed upon us and continue always. Lord, be mindful of our weakness. Do not let us be lost in your own wrongdoing, but show us as we humble ourselves, so that escaping the darkness of sin, we may walk in the day of justice, and girded with the armor of light, we may live free of the assaults of the evil one, so that with courage glorify you, the only true and loving God, in all things. Truly great is your mystery, Master and Maker of all, of the temporary separation of your creatures, to be united again in everlasting rest. 
We confess your grace in all things, for our entrances into this world and our departures, of which our hope of resurrection and life of bliss, according to your certain promise, are the guarantee. <clears throat> May we enjoy it in your future second coming, for you are both the pioneer of our resurrection and the just, but compassionate judge of our lives and master and lord of our reward. In the ultimate condescension you shared in our flesh and blood and in our passions, willingly you assumed them in the depth of your compassion, so that having yourself been tempted, you offer yourself freely as a helper to us who are tempted. Thus you will unite us all to you in your freedom from passion. Will you then, Master, accept our prayers and entreaties and give rest to, our, to everyone's fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters and children, or of the same family or, or people, and all the souls that have gone before to their rest in the hope of everlasting, and to the resurrection to everlasting life, and place their spirits and their names in the book of life, the bosom of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in the land of the living, in the kingdom of the heavens, in the bliss of paradise, your angels of light leading all into your holy mansions. And on the day that you have ordained, raise up our bodies as well in accordance to, to your unfailing promises. In departing our bodies to dwell in you, our God, there is no death for your servants, Lord, but rather a change from the more sorrowful to the better and the more pleasing to rest and joy. And if we have in any way sinned against you, be merciful to them and to us. For no man is free of stain in your sight, though he lived but a day. Only you became sinless to this earth, our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we all hope to find mercy and remission of sin. Thus, as good men and forgive them, and us our failings, whether witty or unwitty, committed to knowledge or of ignorance, intentionally or unaware, in deed or in thought, in word, and all goings about, both to those who have gone before us and to those and to us who await, give release and repose, granting us and all your people a good and peaceful end, opening up to us your heart of love and mercy at your terrible and awesome coming, and judging us worthy of your kingdom. Great and most high God. You alone are our world, abiding in unapproachable light and wisdom you created the world. You separated the light from the darkness and set the sun, the greater light, to rule the day and the lesser light, the moon and the stars, to rule the night. You have judged us worthily, those sinners, at this present hour to come into your presence, giving thanks and offering to you our evening praise. Loving Lord, let, your, let our prayer rise as incense before you and accept it as a fragrant offering. Make this evening and the coming night peaceful for us. Gird us with the armor of light. And deliver us from the terror of the night and from everything that lurks about in darkness. And let our sleep, which you have given us for rest, given our weakness, be free of all demonic images. Yes, master of all, source of all blessings, so that even as we slumber in our beds, we may speak your name in the night. And so, enlightened by the contemplation of your statutes, we may rise, our souls rejoicing, to glorify your goodness offering prayers and supplications to your compassion for our own sins and for those of all your people, asking that in the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos, you would show them mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, raise us up and protect us to God by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, your blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever most merry, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. Of our souls and bodies, and to you we offer glory, to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless evening, let us ask of the Lord.
out of ourselves before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious name, we prevail to all most ever virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves to one another in our whole life, and to Christ our God. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Eternal and simple nature. 